Motorists heading to anywhere at or near Intramuros should know about the latest move to make historic sites in the walled city more pedestrian and tourist friendly. Here again is Casey Tamayo with the details. Starting this month of March, authorities closed off some section of roads in Intramuros to all vehicles while limiting others to one-way traffic. This is a part of the initiatives of the Intramuros administration and attached agency of the Department of Tourism to, as it says, reclaims its historic streets for pedestrian use. The Intramuros administration announced that starting March 2, one-way traffic will be enforced along General Luna Street with motorists from northbound P. Burgos Avenue advised to go turn to Moralia Street. Arzobispo Street will also be restricted to one-way traffic northbound from Anda to Postigo, the stretch of Santo Tomas Street in front of the Manila Cathedral and in front of Plaza Santo Tomas will be closed to vehicular traffic. Vehicles moving along Andres Soriano Avenue coming from Anda Circle can no longer use Moralia Street but are advised to go straight to Magallanes Drive. Barriers will be placed across Moralia Streets in front of the Bank of the Philippine Islands. The Intramuros administration has also established no parking zones at Plaza Roma along Andres Soriano Jr. Avenue, formerly Aduana, Cabildo and General Luna Streets. Moralia Street and on the side of the Pamantasan and Lungsod ng Maynila is also a no-parking zone. Authorities are hoping that the new traffic scheme in Intramuros will lead to increased outdoor activities such as cycling or running and other street-level activities while decreasing road accidents affecting pedestrians. Setting up pedestrian-only streets at historic and tourism destinations has been successful in increasing tourist traffic in many cities in the world. Here's hoping the one in Intramuros will result in similar success.